Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous video, we have covered that how you can write or update single holding register value of your Modbus TCP IP device from the NodeGrid dashboard. Okay. Now in this video, we are going to control or update the single coil status of our Modbus TCP IP device from the NodeGrid dashboard. So here is my open more sim software in which I have simulated the Modbus TCP device. Okay. You can see device ID one total number of coil length is 10. Okay. And the starting address is one. Okay. And you can see it's a Modbus TCP server running on port number 502 in my local host. Now I want to control or I want to update the coil status of my first coil. Then how I can do that from the NodeGrid dashboard. Okay. So that thing we are going to cover in this video. So I'll go to my NodeGrid flow. I will take switch. Okay. So we will take a switch and then we will take uh, Modbus right node. Okay. We will connect this to node and in the switch, we are going to control the coil one using this switch. So let me rename it as a coil one and uh, we will leave all those things as it is. And instead of a notification group, we are going to set it to default group and that's it. We will press on done. Now in the mode bus write node, we have to configure that where we are going to write or we are going to update the data. So once you double click here, you have to provide the unit ID. So unit ID is one. Okay. Now in the function code, we have to specify that what we are going to control or what we are going to write. So we are going to control or we are going to write only one coil. So that's why we will use function code five force single coil. Okay. And the coil we are going to force or we are going to write the data or we are going to control is the coil number zero, which is our first coil. Okay. Now here we have to add Modbus TCP server details. Okay. So our node grid will act as a Modbus TCP client. So I don't have anything, so I can click on this pencil icon. It's our node red Modbus TCP IP client. Okay. The type is TCP. The host name is 127.0.0.1 because this simulator is running in my local host. You can see Modbus TCP server running on the local host on the port number 502. So that's why I have to provide the local host IP address and the port number is 502. Okay, so that's it. You can click on add to add this configuration and it's added node red Modbus TCP IP client and we are going to write or control our coil zero. Okay, it's our coil zero. So that's why I'm going to use coil zero here. Okay, and here also we are going to change to coil zero. Okay, that's it all done. I can press control D and I can deploy. Now this switch is available on our dashboard. So I can go to dashboard and here you can see coil zero status is off. I can turn on from here. You can see it is turn on. I can turn off from here. You can see it's turn off. I can do the same for my second coil. So I can copy this. Okay. It's my coil one. Okay. I can click on done. I can rename it to coil one. Also, I can rename the address to coil one. That's it. I can press control D and I can deploy and I can go back to my dashboard. You can see coil zero is zero. Coil one is also zero. I can update the coil one status from here. You can see it's one and here you can see it is also one the coil zero. Okay. So this is how you can control your Modbus TCP IP device coil status from the node dashboard. If you want to turn it on, then you can turn it on from the node dashboard. If you want to turn it off, then you can turn it off from the node dashboard. Okay. You can see we have turned it off. So this is how you can use node to control the coil status of your Modbus TCP IP device. So this video we have covered that how you can write control or update the coil status of your Modbus TCP IP device from the node dashboard. And in the previous video, we have um, covered that how you can write control or update the single holding register data of your Modbus TCP IP device from the node dashboard. Now we are going to perform the same things for our Modbus serial device. Okay. To control holding register values and to control the coil status for Modbus serial device. So stay tuned for the future videos and I hope this thing is clear that how you can control the coil status of your Modbus TCP device from the node grid using this two node. Okay.